All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, to practice our, you know, to practice our probability for the exam, uh, I cooked up this problem for you guys, um, and it should be, you know, if you could do this problem on your own, or you know, if you just want extra practice, this would help you a lot. What I want you to do is uh, try and copy this information down, and the questions are as follow. You know, uh, for question letter A, find the probability that the medal winner was from the United States and so on and so on so um so yeah what i'll do is i'm gonna pause the video and i'm gonna find the answers myself and um yeah what i want you to do is try and answer these questions by yourself before we go over it together okay up the total so how many medal winners were there for the United States uh, there were 97 if you include all the gold silver and bronze for Russia it was 88 for China it was 59 Australia 58 and for every other country in the world uh, it was 626 and when you added up the total it came out to 928 how many gold medals were there in total there were 301 299 silver and 328 and notice that if you added these three numbers you still get 928 the same way if you added these five numbers all right so let's look at the first question it says find the probability that a medal winner was from the united states so this one's not too bad um for letter a if you know that uh there are 97 um, medal winners in the United States you just put this over the total of 928 and that's your answer let's look at letter B letter B says find the probability that the medal winner received a silver all right so if somebody was picked at random out of the 928 what was the probability that they received a silver um, it would be 299 over 928 okay uh, letter C let's see and if you had to, you know, like, let's say if you had to also round this off. So like, let's say 97 divided by 928, you know, you get, uh, this is 0. 0.1045. And then if you just wanted to round this to three digits, this is equal to 0. 0.105. Because this five is telling you, you need to round this four up. Okay. And, you know, you could do the same thing for this one. All right, let's see. Let's, letter C states, find the probability that the medal winner received the bronze or was from Australia. So notice that this is an example of not mutually exclusive because they could happen at the same time. So the probability of bronze or Australia is equal to the probability of bronze plus the probability of Australia minus the probability of bronze and Australia. Okay. And then here the probability of bronze was uh, 328 over 928, right? Because there are 328 bronzes. Um, what's the probability for Australia? It was 58 over 928. Now we also have to subtract all the people from Australia who also received the bronze, and that is 17 over 928. And if you add these two numbers and subtract 17, you'll get, uh, let's see, 369 over 928, okay? And yeah, that would be your answer for C. Let's look at letter D. Letter D says, find the probability. Actually, let me let me do this real quick. Okay, letter D. Uh, find the probability. All right, all right. Camera angle is good. Find the probability that the medal winner was from Russia, given that the medal was bronze. So here, this is your conditional probability. Conditional. So you have the probability of Russia given it was bronze so then this is the probability of bronze and Russia over the probability of bronze so this will just equal um, let's see well this probability on the top 
is equal to, let's see, this would be 28 over 928, right? Because here, how many people from Russia received the bronze? It was 28 up here. Oh, I'm sorry, the camera angle is bad. Okay, there we go. Um, and what was the probability, oh, my bad, of bronze, it was 328 over 928. And this is just equal to 28 over 328. And if you want to simplify this, it would be 7 over 82. If you simplified this fraction to this. Okay, let's look at letter E, the last one. It says, find the probability that the winner received a gold. So this is probability of gold, given that it was one from another country, not from the list. So this would be your, your others. So let's see, so the probability of other, right? And then what would this be? This is the probability of other and gold over the probability of other, right? So the probability of other and gold was 186 over 928 divided by 626 over 928. And that's equal to 186 over 626 which is equal to 93 over 313. Okay, so this would be like a good sample if your professor would, you know, would give you for your final exam, this would be like a good question to get and or just practice so you get the, uh, you get the feeling of probability. Okay, I hope this video helped. We'll go to question, we'll go to the next question in the next video.